Welcome back, folks, to Resident Evil 3 here on the Heavy Base Channel. Last time we quickly went through an, an, a new area that, that basically takes us through crows, dogs, and more human, and more zombos. Again, seriously, this is a. They really want to intensify here, but uh, more or less, we're, we're going to move forward today. And move forward we shall. Well, I say we're going to move forward anyway. We have more dogs. Bloody hell, there's more dogs here than usual. I think do I think Cerberuses are going to be an absolute pain in the ass to deal with in Resident Evil 3, because in Resident Evil 2, they were a bit of a pain then. And they probably are a pain now. But here, we get a body of a mercenary and a brand new enemy. Drain Deimoses. Replacing... Replacing liquors and hunters of all the usual drain demoses do that. They, cl they cling onto you and they suck your brain. There are two versions of drain demoses. Drain demoses are these, and they're particularly and they're unpredictable as well. So you probably need to use um shotgun shells this one there is an there is an advanced there is another form of a drain demos which is basically poison based it's also bad sick of bad and there's that uh, mercenary that we saw earlier we don't know who he is at least he'll help us well at least i know he'll help us uh, we got a couple of green herbs here and help us. Anyway, moving up moving up here, we saw a post of a biohazard four. Seriously, this game has a knack of actually going forward from this point onwards. And we are inside this restaurant. And sometimes there are some. You know, let me just tell you about some items that do show up. It's a fifth. It's basically in Resident Evil 3. Some items are 50 50 percent able to show up in places, and then otherwise they don't show up in places at all. It's it's, a, it's the random nature. This way, just like when we got picked up the magnum, it random randomly we could get a magnum here, or we could have picked up a grenade launcher. Yes, whilst Jill had a bazooka in the original, which was retooled as a grenade launcher, and a very good one at that too. A.K. Joseph, A.K. Frickin' Force, Force Spencer's weapon. Jill gets the grenade launcher and some decent and and, and you're not only your traditional free. So anyway, use the. Uh, I was gonna say use the uh, lock pick to get the fire hook. The fire hook gets to be used here, and then we can open up the basement, allowing us to go forward, and. Uh, What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. How the fuck is he still up? Okay, we have an issue here. There's uh, another two choices here. Run to the basement is the least effective, but if you want to kill Nemesis again, over here. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. I'm sorry, Carl. This is the only way to effectively kill this bloody thing. And by killing him again, for the third time, you get a first aid box. Keeping on this, there's better ones here. This restaurant's done, this uh, thing's done, by the way. I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. 
Think about it. Uh, by the way, Nemesis is up and he's mad and he's now running after us. Shit. Oh, you think Nemesis is a bastard in this game? Wait till the wait till the wait till the remake, where basically he stalks you from the fucking start. That is a terrifying prospect. Mostly because everyone else is like, oh, Mr. X is his asshole. Mr. Basically, Nemesis laughs at this proposition. He's just like, ha ha, you're you're bad. Anyway, here we get some shotgun shells. And we get a crank. A rusted crank, to be precise. We're gonna need that rusted crank. Not immediately, but we are gonna, basically gonna use this for the, for the foreseeable future. And since we got some shotgun, and we have some... In fact, we're just gonna keep these for now. We're fine. Just looking through this. Just putting the shotgun shells together, because we're probably going to need those. Um, I think we're going to need to make a run for it. Because the boot, when you hear ambitious music, basically that, Nemesis is around, like there, he will grab you. At this point, you can't kill him again to get another item. You have to kill him in specific spots in order for those items to drop. Otherwise, he's just going to be a bit of a bitch to deal with. And unfortunately for us, we have to get this second, we have to get that, we gotta get a second gemstone in order for us to move on. So here we are. Ink ribbons here. Um, basically a first aid spray here. And there's not much we can do in the air, basically here. And we have another picture here. So let me take a photo B. Now then, now we're gonna push this. Now we're gonna push these step ladders right here, so we can open up the blinds. We can get up to the prep to the paper. The reason why we're doing this is because how else? Now we turn on the power to the switchboard like so, and then we go over to here. So if I push her, we need to turn this on. Basically, everything's on fire, as expected. By the way, that's about to explode. If you don't, you take some fire damage. Which sucks. No, really, it does. By the way, if you hear ambition and being basically dark foreboding music, Nemesis fucking shows up. So we get the green gem. So we kill this, um... Not really much of a zombie here. Photo C is here. And a diary is here somewhere. And the reporter's memo. Basically, another another basically member of the press fails to, fails to essentially kill. I believe there's not much here in this office, which is true, it is not. But Nemesis does actually show up if you go inside that office there. So that really sucks at this point. So literally that's just that. Make a run for it because he does not show up in these parts. Only shows up in the build in certain areas of the building. And pretty much we got everything that we need in the papers. In the uh, newspaper store. So we got two gems. One sapphire. And this is an emerald. And the other one's a... Basically, a sapphire. And Nemesis drops from the heavens. Shit, he's Sephiroth. We're in trouble. Right. Those two gems are needed for here. First of all, use the emerald. Connect us to that point here. But not to make the device work, which is true. Now we use the sapphire to connect everything. And so this poncy weird device allows us to access the city hall. Allowing us to go further into the field. But we're done. Because I ain't facing you. There is no reason to face Nemesis in this game. Unless you know what the heck you're doing. Far from it though, but still. 
we're basically done for this episode. Well, I know we're done for this episode. Nemesis is still around. He's a bit of a he's a bit of annoyance, but uh, we got more um stuff, more or less, and we're gonna need to save here. So we've all gone to the way to City Hall using those two gems that we picked up. One from the police station and the other one from the newspaper offices. Those that's probably the real reason why you should be here today. But uh, we're done with this episode. Next time we're gonna go further. We're gonna go further on through City Hall to see what else is beyond there. Bye for now, folks.